<laughs> we are nice and comfy and ready to go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, what is this, how many facts do I have? I'm supposed to have 50, but this is kind of like a facts and dreams, facts about me and dreams that I have video. And I came out to 60. Yeah. I have it all downloaded and ready to go. So, I don't even really know how I'm going to get this started and just be like, hey, let's just talk about me. And that's not really who I am, but it's considering I want you guys to get to know me more. Um, I did a Get Ready With Me, which was uh, kind of terrible because I think I did my makeup more than I talked to you guys. Which, I mean, yeah, I'm supposed to be doing makeup, but I don't know. I'm a terrible multitasker. So, I guess let's just go ahead and get into these facts about me. Oh, if you guys haven't already, please click that subscribe button right here, followed by the little bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this. If you guys want to see another facts about me, even though I'm going to just go ahead and give you guys everything that I have on this. Number one is that I was born in San Diego. I moved to the East Coast when I was about six or seven. I learned to swim when I was four, five years old. I hate peanut butter. It like repulses me. I think I've, I always want to gag every time I smell it. But I like boiled peanuts, which is weird. I know a lot of people are like, you eat boiled peanuts, but you don't like peanut butter. I think it's different. Um, peanut butter is more like, oh, I don't want to say pureed, but it's blended together and it gives you that weird color, whereas boiled peanuts, they don't give you that weird color, they just look like beans. And, yeah, just like boiled peanuts better than I like peanut butter. Um, I think tomatoes should only be in ketchup form. I don't like tomatoes either, but I love ketchup. <laughs> Which you guys are going to be like, you are so weird. Yeah, I understand that. I dip my fries in mayonnaise. I mix mayonnaise and ketchup together and it creates like the best combination ever. Um, oops. I cut my sister's pigtail off when I was about two or three years old. It was with the, the little kitty scissors, like with the, the curved knob, like the curved um, tips for the scissors. Yeah, I did that. And she always blames me for the thinness in her hair now, which I'm like, no, that's genetic. Her mom has thin hair, and we have thin hair, so. Yeah. My zodiac sign is... Zo zodiac. My zodiac sign is an Aries. I love the snow, but I hate the cold. Which is weird. I'm a very strange person. I cut my hair when I was 19 years old, and I donated it to the Pantene Beautiful Links Hair Donation Program. Um, skydiving is on my bucket list. That's what I want to do so bad because I love flying and I'm like, why not? I'm just going to jump out of a plane. That's what I want to do. Um, hardcore seafood repulses me. Like I can eat tilapia, salmon. Uh, I can eat a little bit of flounder, but I love tilapia and salmon, but I cannot stand shrimp, lobster, crab, oysters, uh, clams. Yeah, those are like the only things that I cannot eat and I will not eat. Um, I can eat bacon with everything. I can eat it with every single meal. Cereal, I can have bacon on the side. If, okay, this is a, this is a weird combination, but if you ever have bacon and you have bagels around, go ahead and put the cream cheese on your bagel and you have some bacon, crumble that up and put it on your bagel. And like the combination of the cream cheese and the bacon is so good. You guys will love it and you can thank me later. Um, pizza is life. That's a fact not me because I love pizza I think last year or 2015 I think we had pizza about twice a month tried different pizza places and I'm pretty sure I got the same thing every pizza place that I went but you know I love pizza and I just can't knock the things that I love um, I drink my weight in wine before I turn 25 before I turn 25 yes I went to three or four wine festivals and I went to about four wine four wineries drank a lot of wine there and then we also have a bunch of wine here at our house we will drink that every now and then too so yeah I think 25 was a year 
well, 24 was a year that I drank my weight in one, which, I mean, I don't, I'm not complaining about that. Mm, lumpia is my favorite Filipino food ever. My mom is half Filipino on her dad's side, and we went to visit them over Thanksgiving break, and my Lola made ponce and lumpia, and I think she made something else, but I can't remember. I don't know, just having it from her is just, which is so much better. When we get over, we get it over here, we get some ponce and lumpia, but it's just not the same. <laughs> uh, I've never been out of the country, which is surprising. I think I've been pretty much all over the United States. I've been in like the lower half of it. And especially driving from California to South Carolina when I was little with our family, and then we moved from... We drove from California here to Virginia whenever our dad got restationed. So, yeah, I've never been out of the country. I don't know. I need to go out of the country. I want to go to, oh, I want to go to so many places. Paris, Italy, Greece. Um, I want to go to South Africa so bad. Um, I want to go to Mexico, China. Well, I do want to go to China. Canada, Australia. Just everywhere out of the United States is where I want to go. Yeah, you guys know the farthest I've flown is from Virginia to California. Um, I've been to slash through almost every state on the eastern seaboard. The only ones I have not been to are Rhode Island, Vermont, Maine, Connecticut. Hmm, I think that's it. Yeah, the furthest I've been is New York. I haven't been to anywhere else up north further than that. Um, I'm never satisfied with how my nails look. I had gel nails um, a few weeks ago. I got them like redone three times and then I was like I don't want to go back so I tried I just took them off myself. And now I'm painting my nails and now my nails I'm just not satisfied with the way they look. Um, I could eat french fries for every meal. I don't know why. Um, it was my, my winter break from school, I think 2014, I ate chicken nuggets and french fries. No, 2015 was my winter break. I ate chicken nuggets and french fries with every meal and I think I lost like 10 pounds. Well, I need to go back to that ASAP. I only eat the stem off of broccoli. I don't like the little treetops, and I just eat the stem. My family thinks I'm so weird because it's the one thing that I will not do. I will not eat the top of the broccoli. I will only eat the stem. I'm like, why do you guys make fun of me? I, I just don't know what it is about the top of the broccoli that I don't like. Now, the fact is that I think the future is scary. I don't... I like planning for the future, but I just don't like planning and thinking about if you guys get what I'm saying. Um, the future is scary, it's unknown, who knows what's going to happen. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that way, but yeah, the future is terrifying. I slept walked once, sleep walked, slept walked. Um, we used to have like these two oversized stuffed chairs in our room or the garage which were so comfortable and I was watching TV and I had fallen asleep, I think I was up there for like an hour, just passed out. And my sister and dad come and wake me up. And so I get up and my eyes are like pretty much still closed. And I start walking downstairs. And my sister goes, Catherine, what are you doing? And we have two cats. So I'm like, I'm going to go scoop. She's like, no, it's not your turn to scoop. So I said, oh, okay. And my sister and my dad just started laughing at me. Um... I sleep with a CPAP machine to manage my migraines. I addressed this in a video um, a, back in June, because I think June is like Migraine Awareness Month, and I s just sleep with it to manage my migraines, and I have not really had a bad migraine since July, June or July, and it has pretty much helped me out. Um, I thought I had a stroke. Um, when I got the migraine that landed me in the hospital last year, it my I addressed it all in a video that I'll link up here. I addressed it all in a video where my entire left side went completely numb, and as you know, a stroke is on your right side. So yeah, that's why I thought I was having a stroke. Um, I tried 
Uh, a thing about me is that I try to push people to be better. I don't want them to settle for less. Um, I do want. Pe I encourage people to shoot for the stars. And that's kind of cliche, but I want people to do better than they think they can. If they think that if they have a dream or a plan of something that they want to do, then they should do it. They shouldn't just think, "Oh, I'm not qualified for this," or "It'll never happen." It'll never happen if you don't try. So I, I'm a I'm a people pusher. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Um, I never want to settle for ordinary. Um, my heartbeat increases dramatically when I see any type of insect that bites or stings. I was running on the Dismal Swamp Trail, which some of you around here will know what it is. And I think I was at like the mile marker, and I just saw a snake just starting to crawl out. And I said, oh crap. So I was at my like leisurely run pace, and as I saw it, I just sprinted past it. So yeah, my phobia is snakes and spiders, and <laughs> yeah. Um, I try to drink three cups of tea a week. My elbow has been dislocated twice before I was seven. Now that I'm saying twice, I think it was three times. Um, it's just a freak accident, you know, my arms are very fragile and any type of tugging when I was little, boom, they're out. Um, I hate the outdoors, but I prefer running outside to running in a treadmill. Um, I have long-lasting softball injuries. When I was 16 or 17, I was up to bat, it was during like, um, a scrimmage, and... I was up to bat, and the girl, apparently, whenever she hits people, her dad gives her $50 or $100, and I was one of the lucky people that I got hit, and she hit me right here in the bone, and my whole arm swelled up, and I honestly think that my bone cracked, but my doctor, the hospital couldn't get an x-ray on it because it was so swollen, so yeah. Um, originally, I went to college on a music scholarship because I wanted to be a music teacher. I partied my way partied way too much my freshman year of college because you know when you go away from home for the first time it's like you have all this freedom and anything you want to do no don't don't party too much your freshman year of college my cat is my best friend um i've realized that extra weight on my 5'1 body frame does not work for me um freshman year of college i did put on the did i put on i think i put on like 15 20 pounds which was good for me because I was very much too thin, I think. And the weight just, I guess it helped. But now it is hard to get it off as you get older. So if you're planning on partying way too much, always just keep working out. Be healthy. College is hard. Um, I got a violin for my 18th birthday. It's I still have it. I just don't play it as much. It's this beautiful, older, antique violin that I picked out whenever I kind of outgrew my other one. Um, I bought my dream car for my... Yeah, I bought my dream car at 25. I graduated from college with a degree in psychology. I have seen every episode of Pretty Little Liars, The Vampire Diaries, Gossip Girl, One Tree Hill, The Originals, Friends, 13 Reasons Why, Chicago Met, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, This Is Us, and Hannah Montana. I can bend my tongue. Hamburger hot dog. You know. Not all my fingers are straight. I don't know if anyone knows this. But if you can see that, my middle finger goes this way. Same with this. Uh, this one's not really that bad, but this one is just all out of whack. Um, my right pointer finger is double jointed. If you can see that, it's got a nice little bend to it. And then look at this one. This one's normal and this one isn't. Mm, peanut brow. <laughs> um, I have three tattoos with more on my mind. I have this one right here. I have one on my shoulder and then I have one back here. It's not a tramp stamp because it's not in the middle of my back. <laughs> I only wear one necklace that I got from my parents for my high school graduation. This one right here, you've probably seen it in every single video. I only take it off when it needs to be cleaned or like when it needs to be inspected or whatever. When I get nervous, I start to giggle uncontrollably and my armpits start to itch. 
That's so weird. Every time like I scratch my armpits and my sister's around, she's like, are you nervous? I said, yes. <laughs> I have probably changed over 100 diapers before I turned 24. I worked at the YMCA in the child care center. Yeah. And as you can probably guess, I changed a lot of diapers. Um, a Range Rover is my dream splurge car. Like, if I could have any car, it'd be a Range Rover. I mean, I have my Ford Escape, but Range Rover is just my dream car. Um, if I could have a house, houses slash apartments anywhere, it'd be New York City, Los Angeles, or and or Chicago. I want to live near the beach, but also near the city and close to the mountains for hiking. Which I think if you move to California and you go to Malibu, you have the beach, you have the mountains, and then I don't think LA is that far from Malibu. So I think you're okay with that. The dogs that I long to have are a pit bull and a Rottweiler. I think I also want. A golden retriever in a lab. I just want a whole variety of dogs. I don't know if I want all females, but yeah, I don't know. And I don't know if I want boy dogs either. I don't know, I'll probably just get a mix and just spay and neuter them all. Um, I want my cats to live forever. Right now, the cats that we have are 15 years old. Um, the gray one that I've shown you guys in a couple of videos, she just turned 15 in August. Well, that was like the 15th year we've had her, but I think she was probably born in the beginning of August. And the, my cat that I showed you guys in, I think it was my rose gold eye tutorial, she will have been with us for 15 years in January coming up. So she might have been born a little, probably in the summer, because we don't know how old she really was when we adopted her. I wish student learns, student learns? <laughs> Student loans weren't a real thing. Right now I'm paying off student loans and as you get to college you will learn that college is not cheap. So do what you can. Listen to your parents. Go to community college or get scholarships. Financial aid is... It is a devil. So yeah, that's why I wish student loans weren't a real thing. My dream job was to always work with kids. Either being a psychologist, being a school psychologist, school counselor, teacher, working at the YMCA or becoming a professional nanny or permanent nanny I don't know I've always wanted to work with kids and still being in the job that I'm at like that's never gonna go away science was my least favorite subject in school I loved English English was fun math was fun um I wasn't really a history buff I mean like I understood the beginnings of history but as it got to and for us in a senior year, we had to take U.S. government. I'm not that big of a politics person, so that was like my least favorite subject. Um, my high school English teacher taught me the correct way to use can and may. Um, every time we asked her, can we go to the bathroom, she would say, I don't know, can you? And that's when you learned you had to say, may I? So, yeah. I don't know, that kind of almost like a useless you suspect that I've learned. Um, let's see if I can think of anything else for you guys. Um, <laughs> um, I think I've shown you, told you guys, like all the facts and dreams that I can think of. <laughs> so yeah, that's enough of my awkwardness. Well, that's another fact, I'm super awkward. Um, oh, I have another one, we'll have some more. I'm super awkward. I am an extremely quiet person when I'm out in public. I don't have like social anxiety, but it's just like selective social anxiety. Like if I'm around people that I know, I won't be as quiet, but if I'm around new people, then you can forget it. I'm not talking at all. Um, another fact about me is that people think my sister is older than me, which she's not. She is 13 months, 13 years. 13 months younger than me, uh, super close in age, um, um, okay, and that concludes this facts about me and dreams that I have video. If you guys like this kind of stuff, then just let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!